Hi YouTube, Blaze Shadowthorn here, coming back at you with a showdown live. This one's gonna be a Trick Room RU session that uh, I just made the team, just tested it. Uh, one win, zero losses currently, just wanted to make sure, you know, the team functioned kind of well before I make a live, just, and you know, one battle totally defines that, but anyways, we get over the team. Really wanted to use a team with a choice banded Rampardo, so I'm using a team with a choice banded Rampardos. I have Mole Breaker over Shear Force just cause, looking at my, like, the set, the only thing that we get Shear Force boosted is Iron Head. And really, really, Mole Breaker, I really feel is going to be better for this situation. Next, we have a uh, Metacham Choice Scarf. Kind of weird on a Trick Room team, but it works really well, I feel, just on, on the off chance. Because everything on my team is slow, I just want that one fast thing. And plus, you know, I only have two Pokemon on my team that can set up Trick Room, so if by some reason I don't. Uh, a lot of my team is bulky, but, um, you know, I just wanted that fast Pokemon there just, just to kill things. We have a Calm Mind Aromatisse. Wanted it to be uh, specs so bad, but you know, it kind of does need that Calm Mind Wish support. And the Wish support does help the majority of my team just on the off chance it gets, you know, low on HP. Uh, we have a Life Orb Sheer Force Offensive Hydreigon because I really wanted to use Hydreigon again for the longest time, but I just haven't just because I don't know. I don't know, but you know, Sheer Force boosts three of its four moves, especially with the Life Orb. The only thing it doesn't boost is, of course, Outrage. But a Life Orb Stab Outrage coming from an Adamant 252 base attack Pokemon is going to be doing a lot of damage to everything except the Fairy type. And uh, bringing into one of our Trick Rumors, we have a uh, physically defensive Bronzor uh, with Trick Room, Toxic, Flash Cannon, Psychic for some dual stab. Really kind of gets shut down by a, uh, a Houndoom, but I do have uh, Hydreigon and Rampardos for that, as well as a Scarfed uh, Metacham, so you know I have a bunch of things to deal with that. Then it comes down to our last Pokemon, which is of course a Malamar, you know, with the Trick Room, Knockoff, Superpower combination, and then Substitute, just in the off chance I get a free opportunity to set up a Substitute. Why not take it, you know? Why not? So let's take a look at this team. A lot of Dragon Dance things I see. A lot of Dragon Dance things I can see, definitely. Um, Dragon Dance, Wishmore, Dragon Dance, Titar, uh, Acceligore could be probably set up Spikers, um, I can't remember if Electros gets Dragon Dance or not. I want to say it does. Uh, Defogger in the form of his um, Shiftry, and then of course maybe a Mega Steelix. I guess it has to be a Mega Steelix. So looking at his team, um, just gonna lead off with me, uh, Metacham. He says, "Please no timer," which leads me to believe that he's probably gonna be taking his time. Uh, leads off with his Electros. Uh, I feel no reason not to go for the high jump kick right here, just because high jump kick hits everything on his team pretty, pretty hard. So, you know, I'm just dies. Okay, sweet. I get an early lead. That's cool. Uh, I'm not going to hit the timer just because he asked me not to, and as long as he makes his moves relatively quickly, I really don't feel like I need to hit the timer. So, you know, I'll, I will oblige him that one thing. As it uh, turns out, he's going to do a Scarf Final Gambit, or maybe it's not Scarf, but anyways, gonna Final Gambit me, that's fine, um, like I said before, um, uh, Metacham's just pretty much there to punch holes in his team. Um, probably gonna bring in his Tyrantrum now, so I'm gonna lead off with my Aromatus. If he does decide to go with the other thing, which is that Steelix, he goes with the Wishmer instead, or the Wishcash instead. Uh, he might think that I have Energy Ball, which I don't actually. I took out Energy Ball for Calm Mind. That Steelix was really starting to annoy me. Uh, he could Dragon Dance right here, so I'm gonna Moonblast predicting the Dragon Dance. If he does want to go out into his, um, his Steelix, that will prove really bad for me, because it will force me out into my Bronzong, which will then pressure me to go for a Trick Room. And uh, that that Steelix really is the bad thing, though, is because again, since my room is uh, I'm running a, tri a trick room team, that Steelix is really gonna be bad for me. As he decides to go out into his Tyrantrum, I have no idea why he would do that, but it's cool for me because I've killed off half his team and the the, the match pretty much just started. So in comes the uh, the Steelix as he decides to forfeit right there. That is fine by me. So you know that was a pretty. I guess exciting, exhilarant match. So we're gonna find another one. So, so far this team's proven, I guess, kinda decent, but I am in the low ladder garbage, so you can't really expect too much of that. That's a thing though, I kinda wish I could start like, 
in the mid tiers just because I don't really ladder much on Showdown just because Showdown's cancer. Uh, I just pretty much do it for the lives when I feel like it and when I have spare time. Uh, looking at his team, however, Mega Obama Snow, that Del Fox is definitely going to be a problem to deal with. Um, gonna lead off the Malamar, I think, because Malamar, I feel, is the best thing that can handle the, the majority of his team. Just because Super Power and my Psy Shock combination handles everything on his team, or my knockoff Super Power combination. Um, I don't know what he wants to do. I'm tempted to substitute predicting like a protect or something, but I just want to go play it safe and just go straight away for the Super Power. As he decides to double out into his Alamomola as a... Uh, Superpower does pretty much nothing. Now, do I outspeed this Alamomola? I'm gonna run a calc on it. Let's see. Data Alamomola. As I misspell that because I can't spell Alamomola. Base 65. I do not feel I outspeed that thing. Data Malamola. Actually, you know what? I know I don't. I do, but I am rocky negative speed nature, so I have no idea. He does anything. I don't get burned. That was a big thing. I don't get burned, which is great for me. That's in fact amazing for me, because I'm gonna take this opportunity now to go for the knockoff, as it'll take him three skulls to uh, kill my uh, substitute, which is amazing. I'm gonna go for another, um, so long as I keep track of how many skulls he's going for, I can set up a sub over and over and over again and pretty much sweep his entire team of the Malamar. As that actually broke it, which I did not expect that to break it. Actually, I did expect that to break it. I have no idea why, because the first goal did like 15%. Yeah, I did 15%, so that then 30%. I have no idea what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing whatsoever. Uh, I'm just going to go for another superpower. Hope I don't get burned, but I probably will. He instead goes for Toxic. Thank you for not trying to burn me with Skull. And instead, probably... Mm, I wouldn't say securing me the win. Just because he does have a lot of things like that could just come in here and just kill me. Actually, he has nothing that can come in here and kill me, so Malamar is pretty much guaranteed to kill one, maybe two more things on his team, depending on what he brings in to hit me up with. Like, uh, he's gonna bring out back out his Obama Snow. That's fine. I'm just gonna go once again, back again for that superpower. He decides to Mega up. He goes for the Blizzard. Wow, that Blizzard did a lot of damage, but fortunately for me, I'm able to knock out his Mega, and uh, Malamar dies now because Toxic, but damn, that Blizzard did a lot. Damn, that blizzard did a lot. Um, <laughs> what is he going to bring in now? I have a feeling that Rhyperior might come out, but I don't know. Uh, I'm going to bring out my Aromatus, because I feel like Aromatus can handle everything that he could possibly decide to bring out. He does decide to bring out the Rhyperior, so I was correct in my assumption. I'm going to set up a Calm Mind, just because I'm pretty sure I can take stuff pretty nicely. And I know from prior experience that a Moonblast does like around 50%. So I'm not like really wanting to go for a Moonblast right off the bat. He decides to set up Stealth Rocks, which I don't know why, because unless to break the potential sashes on my things. Uh, Toxic, not the wisest plan. I have no idea why he's not just saying fuck it and EQing. Because that's what I would do, to be completely honest. I would just EQ at this point in time, because I know it won't kill me because I'm max HP. But uh, he decides to switch out, go out into his Delphox. Which does nicely resist the Moonblast. Um, I'm just going to Moonblast again, just because I don't see a reason not to. I am at plus one, pretty high up on in terms of HP. So, he is going to trick a Rumi, a Choice Scarf, which is absolutely terrible for me. I guess predicting me to go for, I don't know, a uh, the, the, maybe another Calm Mind or something. I have no idea why he tricked me into Choice Scarf right there. He still outspeeds me regardless, hits me up with a Fire Blast. Fortunately though, for me, I am able to live it. I'm able to knock him out with a Critical Moon Blast, but the Moon Blast crit didn't even matter, and I die off to Toxic. Story of my life, apparently, in this match. Me dying off to Toxic. Anyways, enough of that. I really do feel like that, um... Uh, that Rhyperior is coming out again. Uh, no, Cresselia is coming out this time, uh, as my Bronzong decides to come out and play. I'm gonna go for a Toxic, and I apologize if you like think my nose is getting really stuffed up because I just put Kleenex up it. Uh, cause I have really bad allergies. Uh, Substitute. That's nice. Not really. That's really cheeky. Uh, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. And now he's gonna start Calm Minding. Um, 
sir, can you please stop call minding? I don't like that. So I'm gonna switch out, I'm gonna go out to my Red Pardos. And, um, yeah. Sorry about that. Just brought in my Rampardos as he's just getting greedy right here. I really feel like there's no reason for me to go for a head smash right here as he goes for a Psy Shock. Unfortunately for him, that's not enough to kill me. And I'm able to break through the uh, the substitute with an Earthquake. Like I said before, there's really no reason for me to go for the uh, head smash just because I could miss and stuff and I die to a Moonblast. That's fantastic. And he's at full HP. That is just fantastic. That is super fantastic. That Cresselius wins in the match, I think. <coughs> uh, I'm gonna go out into my... That was a really bad play. I should've went out into my Bronzong. <coughs> <coughs> this just cost me the match. I'm gonna go for the Outrage. Really, strongest move at this point in time. Yes, I could go for the Crunch, but uh, I live. Hey, I live. Hey, that did absolutely nothing. Hey, I just lost the match, I think. Maybe. Maybe. I'm gonna run a calc. He gets a crit, doesn't even matter. Gonna run a calc right here, because this calc will decide everything, so I'll be right back. Yep, so I pretty much just lost this match. Just gonna go for the high jump kick. My really only hope, I suppose, is that, like, I don't even know, 23%. Yeah, that's... That's a... Uh... Okay, I don't like Cresselius. I really don't like Cresselius. Lesson learned! Lady Shadowthorn does not like Cresselius. It's gonna set up a substitute predicting the Toxic. That's fine by me. I'm gonna predict that going for me. That's the trick room. Unfortunately for me, it doesn't matter because... Um, I can't break this... I can't break this up. I can't break this up. I can't. And now he's just gonna keep on spamming substitute, isn't he? Please go for a calm mind. Please go for a calm mind. Please go for a calm mind. No, you're gonna keep on spamming substitute. Of course you are. And what is this? Flash cannon's like a 4KO or something like that. God, this is terrible. This is bad. Wow, it still hasn't broken the sub. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Wow, that was a 6 -a KO. I was right, it was a 6 -a KO. Maybe I can stall him out of substitutes. Maybe I can stall him out of substitutes and be all cheeky like. As he's gonna go for a side shock, that's gonna do laughable damage. So we're at a point where he can't touch me, but I can't really touch him. So yeah, I'm just gonna pause the recording until something extraordinary happens. Well, something extraordinary happened. I forfeited out of sheer boredom because, yeah, I really didn't feel like wasting all my time trying to win a match that I might not have been. I really, I mean, I could have won it if I got enough crits, I suppose, but in the long run, it really wasn't worth it. And I learned a valuable lesson. This team is really, 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 really weak to Cresselius. So fortunately for me, this team does not have a Cresselius, so we should not have that problem. And if you decide to use this team, uh, be sure to have a Cresselius counter on it, because apparently I don't. Well, I do, I suppose. It's not a problem if I get behind Trick Room and get all set up and stuff. But uh, this team, this team, gonna lead off with Rampardos. I see no reason not to, because Head Smash EQ threatens his entire team. Uh, I'm just gonna click Head Smash because he either A is gonna Dragon Dance or Swords Dance or now you're dead. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. Ha ha ha. ha. I'm happy. I'm really happy because uh, Sheer Force for Alligator, especially when it sets up a Swords Dance, is really scary. It's really, really scary. Unfortunately for me, this does warrant him a free switch out into his Magneton, which he does opt to take full advantage of. Good for him. I'm actually going to stay in and head smash predicting him to predict me to switch out, predicting him to go for a volt switch. So please, go for a volt switch. And if you do, something else on your team is going to die and I will laugh. And I will laugh because it'll be funny because uh, this Rampardos would have killed two things on his team. So, you know, choice banded Rampardos with uh, head smash is definitely doing a lot of work. Of course, it would be a lot better if, um, if it had a... Uh, what is it, Rockhead? But no, he decides to go straight away for a Flash Cannon instead. I guess that's okay. Eh, eh, not the worst thing in the world. Uh, anyways, what do I want to do? I want to go out into my uh, Dreadagon. 
I want to go out of my Dredagon because Dredagon hasn't done anything, like, forever. So I'm going to go for a fiery punch, a punch of fires, and uh, see what I can do. He's going to Volt Switch out, most likely going to go out and do, like, a Slow King or something, predicting, uh, predicting a fire-type attack because um, it was kind of fairly obvious. Should have actually went for an Outrage, as he does go out into the Slow King. Good for him. Uh, I'm gonna go for an Outrage right here. I really do feel like I can outspeed. Even though I am minus speed nature, this is a Slow King after all. I do get a crit. I'm not sure if that crit mattered, but uh, I could calc it later. But calcing again takes time and effort that I honestly don't really feel like exerting myself to. He is going to take this uh, excellent opportunity to go bring back in his Magneton, knowing full well that I am locked into Outrage. Uh, Outrage still should be doing a decent amount of damage, but uh, Flash Cannon, unfortunately, is not going to knock me out. And 41%, even though that's a resistant hand, I'm pretty happy with that. I'm pretty happy with that. And um, how much did Volt Switch do? How much did Volt Switch do? Um, Volt Switch did 18%. I'm going to make a play. I'm gonna make a play that he's gonna think I'm gonna save my uh, my Dredagon. So he's gonna Volt Switch out. He doesn't Volt Switch out. Instead, he goes for another Flash Cannon, and I die. What? 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 That makes me sad. But unfortunately, he did lose his only counter to my uh, Metachamp with his Slow King, which means I can high jump kick everything on his team. And the only thing that really can save him now is if I miss, which I just might miss. I just might miss. So that's really the only thing that can save him at this point in time is if I miss, so yeah. Gonna go for that jump kick, don't miss. Down goes uh, the Magneton. What is he gonna bring in? What is he gonna bring in? What is the Widow Baby gonna bring in to die? Ha 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 ha. I guess the only real thing I'm really worried about, way he brings it in tells me it's Scarf, doesn't matter because I'm gonna kill it anyways with a high jump kick. Unless, of course, I don't kill it with a high jump kick, which I probably shouldn't have done that, but I kill it anyways, so really, really doesn't matter. I was like, I probably shouldn't do that just on the off chance it didn't kill. I should have probably switched out, but, uh, nah. Nah. White Chick, sure. What an original nickname. That actually isn't an original nickname. Not really sure what to think about it, but it's dead anyways, so Metacham definitely putting in the work, so, uh... Yeah, I guess this will be the live, uh, really short, but my allergies are acting up again, so, um, yeah, I really don't want to drag this out any more, longer, uh, because it'll end up being an hour for just, like, a 30-minute thing, just because all the time I'm going to have to keep pausing it, but anyways, that's that. Uh, kind of weird Trick Room team that didn't actually end up using anything Trick Room related. I used Trick Room the one big game, I ended up losing it anyways, pretty much Metacham just coming in here doing it when it does best. And uh, kind of using Dredagon and uh, Rampart us a little bit. So hopefully you like the, the live. If you did, leave a like and comment down below. If you want to test out the team, uh, here it is. I will leave it down in the description below as well. So, um, yeah, thank you all for watching. And um, I will see you all later. Bye.